Chat, what's up, YouTube? This is the Nita Podcast. 150, big 150s, man. Big 150 shows. 150. That's that's actually kind of cracked. You know what I'm saying? That's actually strong. Strong, one yifty, 150 of these shows about Madden, about our Madden community and all these guys and you guys being here. So without the chat, the chat is not the chat without the chat. You guys know. You guys know that the chat is not the chat without the chat. There it is, boys. What's the word? We're going to do some rapid fire questions. We're going to do some unbanned requests. We're going to talk about the tournament. How we making out? What's the word, boys? Check in, check in, check in. If you've never typed in the chat before, check in. Now's your opportunity to be over there or over there in the in the comments. Scooby, the Lord. What's up, Steve? What's good? Everybody's good today. I watched the boy from 9 a.m. till like 1. Boys, I'm going to be honest. I'm afraid to play the Apex game. I want to play Apex. It looks cracked. But I don't get off online till 6 a.m. Like I, and then I got off at 6 a.m. Then the boy, I had to watch the boy at nine. So I was tired, and I slept probably from three to six, maybe. I don't know. That's about it. That's about it, boys. We slept from about 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then. 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's about it. That's about it. You know what I'm saying, boys? That's about it. Alan. Six-month gift subscription courtesy of Dubdot has entered month five for Alan. I was on it four with four. Oh, oh. Playing Apex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to play Apex for an hour. That's all I have to do. That's all I had to do. Let's play Apex for an hour. That's it. Just use some gamer supplements. Skim booby. I do. I use gamer subs. As you guys see, man, they are a supporter of the channel. Gamer subs. This is Strawberry Daiquiri. You can type exclamation point and drink in the chat. And at this point in my life, I just dry scoop them because I have, I've been drinking out of this water bottle, right? This is my water bottle right here. Boom. But this is a nice water bottle and I don't want to put this shit in here. I just want to keep just water in this water bottle, right? That's all. So I just take a scoop, swig the water, dry scoop. Dry scoop is it. I'm telling you. Dry scoop is, is lifestyle. Dry scoop is a lifestyle. It is. Wakes you up, gets you going. No, I'm going to be honest. Now, this stuff doesn't make me any money. It doesn't really make me any money. I mean, it really hasn't. But I don't want I, I really like it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to say, like, I legit, I'm cool with this. It's not OP. You don't need a whole block of powder and shit like that. It's not nasty. It tastes good. You know what I'm saying? It has no sugar. It's good for the keto if you're trying to watch your figure like myself. I like it. So I can't get rid of it. I can't go anywhere else. I, I, I don't want anything else. You know? Is there a new power ranking? I should be a little higher, Diso. I, do you agree? I should be a little higher. I'm not talking top 20, but I should be. I should get a little bump. I should get a little bump in the rating, in the rankings. I should. I should. How do y'all feel? Another, another, it is cold. I have the window open next to me because it gets hot in here. It's hot. So I have the window getting the cold air. And I will tell you this before we get on to other stuff. I will tell you this right now. If you guys don't get the Ugg slippers, if you guys don't buy the Ugg slipper, if you spend any time in your house and you're not walking around with Ugg slippers, you are just doing things completely wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly like, Take a pair of your Jordans or your Yeezys and sell them for some Ugg slippers. I promise you. If you have Yeezys and boosts and all that shit and you're not walking around with oh, you gotta have socks. You gotta have a you gotta have the socks on. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have socks. 
you gotta go socks with the slipper because you don't want them. You don't want it to get like sweaty in there. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, these are op. They really are. Like and and then the ignorant people will say you can get them at Walmart. Nah, the ones at Walmart fall apart. The stitching comes out. These things actually, these things actually, they they caress your foot. They never slip. Like I feel like I could go play ball in these. I swear to God. I could run, I, like, I could do any activity in these slippers. They got the nice grip, you know what I'm saying? That they're really foldable, and they got the, you know what I'm saying? They got the lambskin. This is straight from the Himalayas right here. The lambskin. They put it in the Ugg, and you put, you know what I'm saying? Where do you get these? Good question. Amazon. And if you have an Amazon account, you can link your Amazon account and your Twitch account and get a free Twitch Prime sub. Then you can sub to this channel. So we're both doing good things. You're getting Ugg slippers. I'm getting a sub. And it's pretty much free outside of you buying the Ugg slippers. That's, I mean, but I'm telling you, these value of footwear, these are top tier $100 footwear. A hundred, a top tier, top tier worth it. Just saying. And uh, trust me, Uggs, if you guys want to reach out, we can have a partnership. I will try all your I will try all your footwear for sure. These are I'm telling you they are unreal. Unreal. Like I bought them cuz you know, I would always have the cheap ass slippers. Somebody would buy me the Eagle slippers. I think she bought me the Eagle slippers. You know what I'm talking about the Eagle slippers. I always would have the Eagle slippers for the winter time, right? And last year I was like, you know, I'm going to full send Full scent, got the Ugg slippers. Actually, un unbelievable. And you guys know what's crazy is that you can be cold, but if your feet are warm, oh, you're comfortable. Am I right or am I wrong, boys? As long as your feet are cold or warm, you're comfortable. Feet and hands. I learned that in Boy Scouts. Your extremities. You know why your extremities are always the coldest? They're the furthest from your heart. So by the time the blood circulates down there, it loses some of the heat. So the blood goes, because that's how the body works, right? The blood, it goes through your heart, and your heart kind of cleanses it, and your heart pumps it through your body. So once your heart gets pumping, and it gets to the end of the track, so to speak, it loses a lot. It loses a lot of that heat. That's why your feet and your hands always, you know, are the coldest part of your body and your ears as well, you know. Now, boots. Now, civil. Now, let's talk about boots. Do we want to talk about boots? How many? Where's my working people at? Do we want to talk about boots? Do, do we want to talk about boots? Because I... Where are the guys that wear boots to work? Seriously. Or even even if you drive a truck and you're hopping in and out, you want to wear some... Anybody that wants to wear some comfortable shoes, seriously. I'm telling y'all. I will vouch for this. Steel toe sneakers. Now, when I went to trade school, they forced everybody to have steel toes. You had to wear them all the time. No matter what shop you were in, you had to wear steel toes. People would have the steel toe sneakers. But I will tell you the best. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I have had some Timberlands, but when I when I started, I wanted to wear the butters. You know that I wore. I want to wear Timberlands. Dog shit, they're dog. And my dad would have. My dad would go to REI. I don't know if you know this place called REI. It's for like camping and climbing and hiking and shit. And my dad would get like these four hundred dollar fucking boots, and they look weird as shit. I'm like, Dad, those are weird as shit. But then he got me a pair. They were fucking unreal. Hold up. It's a couple brands that y'all have no idea about as far as boots. And they're the best. They're the, they're the best. This is the one brand I used to wear all the time. A Solo. A Solo. Look at... And they look goofy as hell. I don't even know, like, which one is which. Right? But these shits are unreal, dude. Unreal boots.
Lawrence. I don't even know what Freddie got through. Like, shit like this. Cuz. I'm telling you. I, this is if you work. If y'all worried about bag. Like, listen. I'm telling you. Why not? I'm just, I'm just telling y'all right now. These are, I'm telling you. These are honestly, they aren't the best. But this is what I wore for a lot of years. Now, these don't really have steel toes. Because they're not like. They're not like the super worker joints. Let me see if they have I'm the hikers. No, for real. Like, I'm being I'm talking about my dudes that work, not the dudes that want to go to the club with their boots on. All right. No, let me let me let me reiterate that because y'all not understanding who I'm talking to right now. I'm, I'm talking to the men that work. You know what I'm saying? And they're not worried about attracting 14-year-old women. You know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all 16 and y'all going to the club and school, y'all want to look cool, okay, this is not the conversation for y'all. I'm talking to the men. That's all. I'm talking to the men. That's it. Now, if you really want to go crazy, you can grab these joints right here. You know what I'm saying? These are, these are actually the, uh, whatchamacallit? These are the ones I had. No, 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 no cap, no cap. I had these right here. These joints. These are the ones we had. No, dead ass. Not the wild ass. Not the wild ass ice walking joints. But I had these right here. These joints. They not bad looking. You know what I'm saying? They just brown. But I'm telling you, these boots were fucking unreal. <laughs> For working, like I'm seriously. But the new boot I'm on right now that I have like three pairs of. Are these joints? Oh my god. These boots, boys. Keen? Absolute like, dude, they make Nike and Timberland and shit like that, like feel like like shacks. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this right now. Keens are unreal. Now, Dyke, can we shop now? American into ingenuity, ingenuity, ingenuity. My bad, my bad, boy, my bad. That G threw, threw me off a little bit. That G was real strong. Keens are actually cracked. Yes, you can, Mallow. Stop being a child. What do you wear, Mallow? What do you got on your feet right now? What do you wear to work, man? Mallow, what the fuck do you do? What's your job, Mallow? I need more info. We need more info on Mallow. What do you do? You wear Timberlands. Yeah, you're a fucking sheep. What do you do, Mallow? What is your job? School? So you don't even work. So you don't even work. You've never been outside for 10 to 12 hours walking around. Walking around. What do you do for work? What's your job? Well, what's your job? A sales rep. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? So you're not outside. A sales rep isn't outside, is he? I sell shit. What does that mean? I'm inside. Okay. Well, if I if I was inside, if I was inside, I'd probably rock some. You know what I'm saying some. I don't know. I don't really. I never really had an inside job. What the hell do y'all rock? I sell cell phones and Wi-Fi. So you're like the guy at Walmart that fucking bothers me when I'm trying to look at video games? You're that guy. He's that guy, boy. Chat, go stand in the Walmart and bother people trying to buy fucking Xbox games. He's that guy. Okay. Sales rep. Okay. 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 I know you, buddy. I know you. Leave me alone, dude. I want to see if they got any controllers for sale or they got any new games I want. You know what I'm saying? So it really is your job. And you're telling me about boots. So this is the man that's telling me about boots. This is why I hate Twitch. The man that works in Walmart selling cable and Wi-Fi to other people that are trying to shop is telling me about boots. I got to wear Timberlands. Why? crazy dude crazy now I will tell you I 
I will tell you guys this. I've had, these are my other boots that I wear. Boom, boom, boom. Where, what we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. These Jones bullshit, bullshit. Don't buy these. They bullshit. But shit, I got like Jones like this. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me see. What do I be rocking out of the Timberland? I kind of, um, what kind of like these? This right here. This my joint right here. Yep. I rock these too. These joints are actually tough. I don't know if they have like the, uh, yeah, I rock these. I have a couple pair of these right here. These joints. Fuck is this dude saying? Composite, composite. This ain't Vo's little brother, bro. Or older brother. This is Vo's cousin. I'm telling you. Don't, this is one of my boots that I wore, bro. For real. I had like three pairs of these. For real. I had three pairs of these. Now, did I wear these to the club? No. Yeah. Now, I will tell you another great... Anybody work in the snow? Does anybody live in like heavy snow area? I, I'm like, Listen, I will, I, I will put y'all on some shit. All right? Damn. I forget what they're called, though, bro. I forget what they're called. Red Wing is cool. Oh, I, I had these, too. I had, I had what you call it. I had these joints, too. Now, these, I've had these. I've had these joints, you know what I'm saying? I've had these. Probably like one of these. I don't know which one I fucking had, bro. Yeah, like these joints. I've had these. The Chippewas. Um, I forget what the name but I forget what the name of my uh I do forget what the name of my snow boots were. I still have them. They're unreal. They're actually the best. They're actually the best. The snow boots that I wore, I still have them. I, like, I put them on all the time. Oh, I remember now. Here it is. Yep. I'll tell you. Boggs. Boggs footwear. Cuz. Where they at? I don't want the kid ones. Where's men at? You gotta get the OG. Oh, they got handles on them now? Oh, shit. They got handles? Bro, these are the best snow boots in the world, dude. Now, the ones I have don't have handles. They're hard as shit to put on and take off for real, for real. No. I'm talking like if y'all if y'all like doing snow work, does anybody shovel snow or snow plow? That's when I wore these. Or if I'm walking to the trash can and there's two feet of snow, I don't wear it. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I got like these joints right here. Yep. Yep. Absolutely what I rock. Absolutely. Muck boots, exactly. That's what I rock. This is like what I have right here. Yep. 
they're, they're like you will never you will honestly never ever 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 feel any cold you will never feel, you can wear a regular you know when y'all go out in the winter and y'all wear big heavy warm winter flannel socks or wool socks you don't gotta wear these you could wear your same bullshit nike dry fit socks in negative 10 degrees and you'd be cool in these i swear to god You'll never bag bitches in that. Well, Jay, luckily I'm not 21 years years old anymore. Why would you won't bag bitches in those? Why would you not bag bitches in those? Let me tell you. Let me let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and tell y'all. Wake y'all up to reality here. A man that can bag bitches doesn't need shoes to do it. In fact, if you're if you're buying shoes to bag bitches, you already lost. You already lost. Unless you're in middle school. For real, for real. If you're in middle school, because that's middle school was a middle school, you wanted the gear because you couldn't get it, right? Like middle school is when you had to ask your parents for the gear and they weren't buying you the shit, right? It felt like middle school was when you really want, like when you were like ninth grade, eighth grade. That's when it was like, yo, I wish I had this. It's going to, no, seriously. There is no shoe that's going to get you a bitch ever, ever. Ever. Y'all buy Jordans for other dudes. 100%. Y'all gotta understand that. All the sneakers you guys buy are to impress men. They are. Women don't know that shit. Just like we don't know handbags and, 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 and heels. All I know about heels is the ones with the red bottoms are, are Christian Louboutins. That's all I know. I don't know any difference from anybody else. I don't know shit about a handbag. I know I know what Coach looks like, and I know what what Louis Vuitton print looks like. If it's fake, I but I couldn't tell a fake from a real from from my ass or my elbow. I I don't know. And and at the end of the day, are you ever? Oh, I want to fuck a chick because she got a nice handbag. No. That's how you think women be like. Oh shit, he got the new blue twelves. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give him this pussy. You think that's how chicks talk? Oh shit, look at his Timberlands. They're clean. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bend over for him. Like y'all are so lost and stupid, it's crazy. You can't buy you can't get holes in those boots. Yeah, but my feet warm. You out there cold as shit thinking you getting bitches. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'd rather have warm feet all day than worry about bitches. I'll tell you that. If you dress well, they open Yeah, Mallow, you're in fucking Walmart selling Wi Fi. Oh, yeah. The guy that dresses well is in Walmart selling fucking Wi-Fi, telling me about dress well. Shut up. Same dude said, you got to wear Timberlands to wear boots. Oh, you ain't in Walmart Target. Target, actually, Target don't let people in like that. What other store has people like that? Yo, them, them dudes only. Do you, do you need new Wi-Fi service? How's your internet provider? It's fucking good. That's why I'm not walking up to you asking you for help. I'm fine on my side. If I needed internet help, I'd be at the goddamn internet store. Right, Mallow? Stop bothering me while I'm trying to buy some goddamn potato chips. <laughs> I'm the provider. No, you're the guy standing there and you're goddamn bur- Oh, yeah, my, you're Timberlands. My bad. Oh, shit. Look out. I didn't even know they had Timberlands in Canada. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm the provider. Oh, it's your business now, huh? Sales rep. God damn. That's a shitty job, though, for real, for real. Like, imagine having to do that. Like, yo, go stand in there and just ask random people about their internet. Because you know 98% of people just blow them off. Right, Mallow? Don't 98% of people blow you off when you try to uh, ask them about uh, their internet? Like, get the fuck out of here. I'm good. Top flight. <laughs> Yo, the, cause one time the electric bill guy came to my door, dude, middle of a Madden game, the electric dude comes to the door. Now this was when I lived in the old apartment, right? Nobody comes to my door. So it's like, Oh shit, somebody knocking. I think it's one of my neighbors. They need something. Right. Or it's like, or it's like, uh, my neighbors or it's like the maintenance guy and they need something from me. Right. I got to answer the door. So I'm in the middle of a Madden game. I answer the door. Dude start talking about electric. I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, I gotta, like, I'm in the game. You know when you pause. Like, bro, like, 
All right, what's up? What's up? I remember signing all this shit and getting whole new electric just to make boy fucking leave. <laughs> I re- it was like, are you, are you satisfied with Pico? I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess. He was like, you know, you could save this, that, and third. Meanwhile, I'm over. Fucking dude. And that's what Ma- that's what Mallow does. Ma- Mallow seems like yo, he's in his Timberlands, bro, because you gotta wear Timberland boots. But anyway, I hope I helped you guys decide about shoes. The UGG slippers, elite. If you and listen, when I when, when I want to talk about boots, I'll talk to men that work outside. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to talk about. So I don't want to talk to sales reps about boots ever. If you're a sales rep, you know I don't want to talk about boots with you because you haven't been out there in the mountains. You haven't been out there in the fields. You haven't been out there twelve hours on your feet walking around. You know what I'm saying you haven't been there. You haven't been there in the snow. Cause y'all laughed at my at my snow boots. You know what I'm saying? I'm a student. Congratulations. So what what you're telling me, Mallow, is that you'll never be out there. You'll never be in the working force. Good for you. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have nice little soft hands. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be a nice, nice, happy little Canadian. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. Good for you. Me myself, I wasn't that type of guy. I wasn't that type of man. I wasn't that type of man. I wasn't. I had to have boots. You know what I'm saying? And I've been through and I've been through the Timberlands. I tried the Timber. I tried to fill boots. I tried the butters. I tried all that shit. It ain't it. That's not it, Chief. I showed you I showed you the Timberland boots to get. If y'all getting Timberland boots, get those Vibram 6500s or whatever the hell I showed you. They're they're actually tough. He not gonna have no callus. But he not gonna yeah, I mean Case Buck, I ain't calling him a bitch. He's just a soft male, that's all. That's soft male. That's how I feel. Like, imagine being a male and going to school. What the fuck? Get out there and work, dude. You better be a doctor. I know you ain't going to school to be a sales rep. You better be a doctor. (laughs) You better be a doctor. Goddamn lawyer or some shit. I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping. I hope all y'all doing well in school. Where are all my college students at? Where are my college students at? HVAC, both my uncles were in some HVAC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope y'all doing well, boys. I hope you guys doing well. Wish y'all all the best. I didn't do that. Electrical. Meanwhile, Vos dumbass. You know what sucks about Vos? <sighs> like, Vos gonna think the rest of his life, damn. If I just said fuck school and focused on streaming, I'd be I'd be a super streamer. He gonna think that forever. I don't know what Vos does. Like, what's his like level of? School? Maybe he is gonna be a doctor. He got the brain. He got the brain to be doctor lawyer ability. He does. He does. But you know, I would always think that shit. Vos ain't never fucked. That's a good thing. AF two. Yo, if you're in school and you never had sex, that's a good thing. You super productive. The minute you start fucking with women, bro, that's all. You don't care about shit else. Dead ass. Imagine how productive males could be if it wasn't for women. Just tell me, y'all. Imagine the, 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 y'all buying shoes. We just established that there's dickheads in this chat buying shoes for women. If it wasn't for women, all y'all would have the boots I pointed out. All y'all would have these shits sitting in the house with them because they're comfortable as shit. Y'all wouldn't care. Y'all, you're right, Mallow. You got to impress your boyfriends. You're right. My bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. That's just for 40 plus. <laughs> I mean, why, well, why, why do young people, why do young people not wear them? With the handles. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Telling you. Just think. Just think. If it wasn't for women, bro. So. 
the best way to get through school, let, let's be honest, everybody that was good in school, think about high school. All the people that were cracked in school, cuz they didn't get holes. They just think about it. Yeah, we would have, yo, Joe, if it was no women, we would have, not that there's no women, they contribute a lot, I ain't gonna say that, but if we weren't overcome with the thought of women and the desire for women, we would have flying cars. Shit, we might be flying. We might, they might have just injected some serum into it that make us fly. We'd have been hella productive. No, but for real, those boots are cracked. Those boots are cracked. For real. But like I said, that's just for people that work outside. If you're a, sal if you're a sales rep, I don't know. Like, what? I don't even know, dude. See, I never got the, uh, I never got comfortable, like, working, like, uh, dress shoes. I always got, like, Cole Hans and what else I get? I was a big Cole Han guy with my dress shoes. I got some some Kenneth the Cole shit like that. They weren't they weren't like wear all day shoes. I'm sure there's like loafers that like have like super padding or super gel and shit like that, but But you know, I know about boots, I'll tell you that. I know about boots. I got hella keens, bro. What do you want to see? I got hella. I got. I got a bunch of different websites up right now for boots. Where are you guys leaning towards? This is your snow boot right here. They call Bogs. B O G S. If you work in the snow, if you do any, if you're a mailman, I know. Is any mailman in here that got to that drive and deliver mail in the snow? Lord Jesus, these would be perfect. You know what I'm saying? These would be perfect. But these are the snow ones. I only honestly, no, I don't have the handhold ones. But honestly, I will tell you, I would buy the hand, the one with the handhelds. I would buy these joints. Uh, classic Ultra High. I, I like these. The Bozeman Tall Yulex. I think these are kind of... I don't know what Yulex is, but these look kind of cracked. I'm going to be honest. But the, they are hard to get on. Like They, they kind of like... When you put your feet in them, they kind of like suck up your foot. Like It's almost like a suction. Like So nothing get in there. So it's... How much are they, Jared? Well, it says 165 here. But seriously, if you're, like, working in the snow and you're a trash, like, for real, I would 100% get these. One, even if it's not snowing, they're super warm. Now, they're not that, like, they don't have, like, ankle support and steel toes and shit like that, but they're good boots. The Chippewas, these are for, uh, like, this is, like, lager, straight lager, cut down trees, cut wood type of boot right here. I've had these like three times, the Chippewas. Big steel toe, big high, 18 in How many inches is this? Pause. I don't know. Sometimes they're 12 inches tall for real. You got a nice big heel. But these aren't com these aren't as comfortable for real. But these are like whatchamacallit for uh like I said when you, if you're really a logger and you're cutting wood and shit like that, but Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. The Timberland, like I told you, these are the go-to boots. If you guys want those, boom, boots. These are the Keens. I have a pair. I have like two pairs of these right here. I would wear these in the summer when I did like gardens and shit like that. And shit, I these some of these would actually even have steel toes, low top joints. Oh my god, the most comfortable. They're like they're literally like four ounces, and they have how many pairs of boots do I have? I have the snow boots. I don't have any Chippewas no more. I, I throw them out. But I definitely have two pairs of these. I got like two pairs. I have one steel toe, one non-steel toe like these. Uh, I don't have any A solos left. So I probably have like four or five pairs of boots right now. But the, these are comfortable. Solomon, yeah, they have those at REI Carbon. My dad has a bunch of those. Solomon hiking boots, yeah, my dad has those. Those are nice boots too, for real, for real. Red Wings are they're more they're they're more like they're more like the Timberland they're more like the Chippewas where they're just like hardcore boots they're not really comfortable you know what I'm, saying? I'm sure they have it but fishing boots like chat like uh waders I my dad has some waders waders are like overalls we used to have a job where we used to work for the county 
And you know you have bridges, right? Like bridges on a small creek. And a lot of times the trees would fall in the creek and wash up against the, the bridge. And before you know it, a couple months go by, there's like 20 trees washed up against the creek or washed up against the bridge because it can't get through the little holes in, in, the, in the bridge. So we would have a job that we would go down there and kind of pull that shit out. So you would have to be like almost waist deep in the creek moving these, these, these big ass trees around and stuff. So we'd always have waders and boots like that and stuff like that to get around in the water for real, for real. I, I would buy those Timberland boots. Those those are cracked. Anyway, enough of boots. Let's talk about Madden. Although, you know, I feel like we care more about boots. Yeah, like a beaver, Ed. Yeah, pretty much. Like, <laughs> get rid of this dam. But the big-ass log. So what you had to do was put a pulley way up in a tree, you know, 100 yards away, and tie the rope to the log. And then take, put the rope in the pulley down the other side with the truck, tie the rope to the truck and back that shit up and pull the whole tree out of there and then lay it somewhere on the bank and hope it didn't go, don't go back in the river again for real, for real. Yeah. It's pretty, it was a cool job. It was a different change of pace being in the water and shit like that. Than just cutting down trees all the time. But anyway, let's talk about this Madden tournament. I think, right? We gotta talk about this Madden tournament. Or maybe oh no, I locked them. We got we got rapid fire question, a new segment we're, we, that we started doing on a stream the last couple of days. We're gonna do it every day on a podcast. Rapid fire questions. So if you guys have questions, wait a little bit. Yeah, we could talk a little bit of Madden. You know, we talked about boots. Let's talk about this Madden stuff. Uh boom boom boom. There it is. Here is the here is the actual bracket i didn't know this was here now it was a good weekend we made a little run we ain't really do too much man we made eight rounds of madden so that's i had fun i had a blast uh i, I i've told y'all a million times man it's it, it's tough to play eight games and win eight games of madden it is i've never been that good at it uh this is the whole bracket right here there it is. Oh, 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 oh. So, we got a couple of people up here that's, you know, I mean, obviously my man Gabagol. Oh, everybody's a Nini fan now. Okay, everybody's a Nini fan now. Okay, everybody's a little Nini fan now. But let's talk about this side. We got Gabagol. Gabagol has been playing on Xbox for years. He is a Xbox triple O. Um, so glad to see him win. I heard he cheated Skimbo. Well, I saw it, right? But that's part of the game. Sometimes you sometimes you cheat somebody. Sometimes you don't. It's part of life, right? Uh, that's what Madden's about. That's why it's hard to you know, hard to make these runs all the time. So, and then, then, so good for him. Congratulations. Listen, I don't know what this guy looks like uh, to name yourself Gabagol. You, I feel like you gotta be a big fella. Am I right or wrong? That's a fat guy's name, right? Boys Gabagol. That's a fat guy. In fact, if he's not fat, I'd be disappointed. He's skinny. All right. He loses. He gets flooded. A skinny college kid, so he's never wore boots. So what you're telling me is he's never worn boots. He has no boots. Yeah, he lost. He lost. He lost. All right. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We got Henry, who has made every live event. It's time for him to just win some games in a live event. I, I mean, dude, I mean, Henry, is. it's time to move on from just making the live event. It's time to pop up. I feel like Henry always beats himself, always lays down at some point, for real. Oh, Henry don't have no boots. What I was thinking to myself is, Henry is like the Black Wesley, really. Right? Like, Henry and Wesley, they live together. They're, they're kind of like doppelgangers. Just One is black and one is white. What's the difference? They both, they, you know what I'm saying? They, I feel like they both kind of had the same voice. For real.
I, I feel like Noah has. I feel like Noah has boots. I agree. Noah up next. Wow. Look at Noah up next versus Nini. Ooh. Now, this is interesting because Nini... Nini actually runs a different scheme from everybody else. He's not a meta guy. Now, I don't know the rules. Donnie, Donnie Moore, Donnie Moore. Rule check, rule check. Do you have to lock in one team for the whole year like or for the whole tournament, or can you switch your teams? Because obviously in single elimination, you could switch your team all the time. You could, without a doubt. I don't know how this part works, you know. Because Nini is a person. I remember playing Nini probably about two weeks ago. Uh, I think it was weekend league. And I remember I played him and I didn't have any wide receiver abilities and he was kind of giving me hell. Then we matched. Literally, I changed my abilities and the next game I popped that defense because I put on like two route tags and stuff or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So Nini is a guy you would change your entire abilities for. Honestly, he is. So I'm interested to see if what Noah chooses to do. I love this about Madden. This is what I've always been good at. I, I've never been the guy that wins eight games in one day. I've never been that guy. I've, I always wind up doing some shitty stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I've always wound up fucking a game up or smoking some shit. You know, just dodgy ah, G's. But I've always been good at, I got a week to play this person. Oh, yeah. Let me see what they do. Let me make a plan. I've always been good at that. Coming up with a plan. So... I'm interested that so, you know, obviously Henry is probably running bunch. Gabba goal look like he ran bunch bunch. You, like you have a plan for that already. Now, I'm interested to see what Noah's plan is. And do you full send your whole team just to beat Nini, and it might hurt you going into the other games? I mean, you got to win the first game before you win the other. So my my focus would be Nini for sure. So I might switch my whole team's abilities for that. So that's an interesting. Definitely an interesting dynamic for sure. So that I'm looking forward to watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that and seeing what Noah chooses. I feel like now I'm gonna say Noah. He don't really got. The, I mean, he got K Mac over there, who's a great player. But then he got like Jay Bird. Then he got like Throne. Now I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So who's the brains of that operation over there, boys? Is it Noah? Is Noah the brains of that operation? I would tend to K Mac might be the brains of that operation. So we'll see what those guys cook up uh for the Nini man. For real, for real. Definitely Jay. Jay Bird's gonna have some dumbass idea. Oreo will have some dumbass idea. Well, if if you if you put six route techs, if they get tired, you could bring them in. <laughs> the bird. Shakobi? Oh my god. Oh, oh, Jay, Jay Bird's going to try to find a run. Jay Bird going to get banned. It's about, I didn't do anything. There goes Jay Bird. Jay Bird buy coins all the fucking time. <laughs> I got banned from another tournament. I put everything into this. And I really, I, uh, uh. Fucking Jay Bird. Just keep buying coins, bro. That's like a dude going to the clinic and getting mad that he keeps getting burnt by the same woman. For real. How you... Like, listen. If Tammy's going to keep burning you and you keep fucking Tammy, how could you be mad at getting burnt? All right. Anyway, so that's going to be a nice matchup, Noah versus Nini. That's going to be... I'm interested to see what plan they come up with. You know, I'm, I like plans. I'm a plan guy, boys. I like plans. All right. Let me go to the other side. We got Clef the God versus Kerry Q. Speaking of plans, this is another one. Kerry Q is a player that is different than every other player in this tournament. So you could have a plan for Kerry. A plan. So we'll see what Clef the God, Mr. Adjust, what does he do against the Kerry Q under center O. You know what I'm saying? What did what is his plan? You know, it's interesting, interesting, interesting. Then we got so like I said, this is Clef's tournament. Clef is kind of like Henry. I mean, I think Henry normally lays down sooner, but I mean they're but they're both this time. It's time for one of them to step up. Honestly, Clef and Henry are are belt or they folded. That's pretty much how their tournaments are every time now, right? 
You either got a belt or you laid down. That's pretty much it. Then we got Mr. Football. Then we got AI Nash. Now, I don't know who AI Nash is. Shout out to him. Uh, Donnie Moore, check in. Check in with the with this, uh, with this the synopsis of AI Nash. Is that Slime Baby? I, we did see him going crazy. We did see him going crazy. We did see him going crazy. Slime, I did say that when we, were, when we were watching shit. When we were watching the brackets, I was like, yo, this Slime Baby dude is going crazy. So, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Mallow, stop bothering that guy. He don't want more cable, bro. The, what does he run? He don't need new Wi-Fi, Mallow. Relax. The fuck? You were trying to get... You trying to... You know what I'm saying? Javaris T. Okay. What is AI Nash? Is that like his name or is it like Allen Iris and Steve Nash combo? That'd be a nasty combo. I don't know what AI Nash is. Going against Mr. Football. That with that Mallow, that's why I didn't ask him. Regs player. Okay, so he's a regs player smart enough to say, you know what? I can make fifteen thousand dollars on Mutt and they popped up like that. Vos, does this guy beat you? Is he better than you? Vos go. Okay. Damn, I thought I was going to say, fuck no. I'm the best. Oh, he dominates you? Damn. So he's actually cracked, folks. So now, all right. So, all right. You got, I see, this is a, this is a, a, a PlayStation thing. I don't know too much. So I got to go, I got to go to the PlayStation guys and say, is this guy cracked? You know what I'm saying? I've never lost to him. All right. What? All right. Folks, who beat you? Who beat Vols? Who put Vols down? Ghost? Damn, Ghost Madden. Shout out to Ghost Madden. Ghost Madden is washed. i am be honest. Ghost is washed. He's washed. Ghost is washed. It's over for Ghost. All right, so like I said, let's look at the bracket. I mean, like I said, we got to go Clef, probably favorite, and Henry, right? Right, boys? Right? Who do you guys like? Who do you guys like in the finals here? Who do you guys like in the finals here? Gabagol? Noah and Clef? I'd like to see Noah versus Clef. I'd like that. I'd like that matchup. Ghost is a semi pro. <laughs> I like Nini's off meta scheme. Well, we'll see how it works for him. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. I don't know. I mean, goals. So I'm excited. So this is the 19th and 24th. What is going on this weekend? Cause I'll, all right, let me see the, I need a calendar. That's what I fucking need. I hate you. Know, I hate my life is this shit right now, dude. I can't do shit. I can't do shit. I can't go outside. I can't breathe. I, I literally can't do anything, bro. It's fucking terrible, dude. All right. What the hell is this? What is this layout here, right here? What is this layout, Google? Google, what are you doing to me? I don't know what the hell is going on here.
Google Calendar. Actually laying down right now. All right. So. I mean, I just, I'm like frustrated with how shitty these calendars I keep bringing up are on the internet. All right. Well, we'll bring this one up. Who cares? All right. This is Google Calendar. I don't I don't want it to see every single day. Halloween. All right. It's Tuesday, right? So this weekend I have to play ladders, right? Let me tell you what my life is like. Next weekend, I'm not going to. Next weekend, I'm going to Colorado. What do I have to do the 19th and 20th? Comms, comms, comms. So... I won't be here next weekend. I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to see the Eagles play in Denver. So I'll play this weekend. I should play Sunday. I should play Sunday. I really should. Yeah, there's no way. I, I planned this trip. I bought four. I bought four tickets to the Eagles Broncos game. On Sunday the 14th? Yeah. So I'm going to drive Thursday night. I'm going to leave Thursday like midnight. Get to Kansas City early Friday morning. Kansas City is about eight hours away. My cousin lives in Kansas City. I'll let uh, Sarah and Christopher hang out with her kids. And I'll take it. I'll go to sleep. And then I'll leave Friday night and get to Colorado Springs Saturday morning. Stay in Colorado Springs Saturday night and go up to Denver for the Eagles game. Then I got a hotel room Denver and Sunday night. I, I'm definitely playing 10 games and chill. My grandfather passed. He did. Uh, he is no longer with us. He got to see Christopher. You know, but that was about a month ago. So, But he was 98 eight or something. So, God bless. Yeah. Yeah, it's honestly like my my aunt and my uncle, they um they watched after my grandfather and they also have their youngest daughter, I believe, has Down syndrome, too. So they were watching her. Then they're watching my grandfather for the last eight years or so. So they were taking care of everybody. And, you know, when you're 98, it's like you did you you did your time, so to speak. Right. It's almost like when they get that old, you're kind of like waiting on it. Like, okay, how much longer is he going to be here? Yeah. So I was glad. That's why I was, that's why when my son was born, I, I wanted to go out there. That's why we went out there. That's why we went out there ASAP and saw him for real, for real. Although like at the time he didn't really know, like, <laughs> like he's like, ah, yeah. All right. But. So I'm going back to Colorado, hang out with my cousins, go to the Eagles game, tailgate the Eagles game. So anybody, are my Broncos fans, the Bronco tailgaters, boys, I need some, what, what's the, what's the Colorado tailgate food? Like, what is it? I don't know. You know, a Denver omelet. Rocky Mountain oysters. All right, cereal. Let's re let's reel it in. Do you think it's gonna be cold? See, Colorado's a weird ass state. Some yeah, you would think November would be cold as shit, but sometimes the sun be out. You're a mile high in the air. Like it be, they told me it'd be nice. Like it could be snowing and then it could be seventy degrees in the next ten minutes. For real, for real. I did get a New Jersey to rock. I did. Let me show you all my jersey that I'm a rock. Damn. 
I'm saying? It ain't gonna freeze. I'm gonna be all right, boys. Trust me. I'm gonna be all right. I got the. You know what I'm saying? I got the. I got the big Kelsey, the big sixty-two, the authentic boy. So we gonna rock this one. You know what I'm saying? In Colorado. So if y'all see somebody with the Kelsey on, it's a fly ass jersey. If you see somebody like this with this, just know it's me with a with a hoodie. And the Kelsey jersey. This is tough. Like, this jersey is tough. Rag six, what's up? What's up? But that's what I got for Colorado, for real, for real. And then hopefully, I used to wear my Dawkins everywhere, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, send my my man Feroz just got the hookup. Send my Dawkins in to get autographed. Hopefully, I can rock this for a couple years, and then get it autographed at some point too. That's how I got my McNabb and my Randall Cunningham. I wore those for what boots? That's a great question, Kunzi. Now this is what I mean, Kunzi. We're getting, we're going to the game in Colorado. It's going to be cold. What boots do I wear? I'll probably go with those Timberlands. Honestly, I might honestly rock. Why are you not rocking old lineman jersey? That's cracked. How, bro? How is the old lineman jersey not cracked? I got, I got this, and I got a Mylotta. Y'all seen I had the Mylotta? I had the Mylotta jersey, too. I'll be honest. I, I Lane Johnson's probably next. Especially this is, like, one of the best Eagles players ever, dude. I I, I was going to buy the Mylotta, right? But I wasn't. This jersey was, like, $400. So, I wasn't going to spend that much. The Mylotta I bought was the regular one. It's, like, 100 I didn't want to buy a real nice jersey for my Lada. He might be ass. Kelsey's already an Eagle Hall of Famer. Like he's a like he's a super player. So I was cool. I was safe buying a Kelsey for real, for real. I don't like Cox as much as Kelsey, really. Exactly, Speed. You see everybody, everybody got a Hertz and a Miles Sanders. That dude, that dude's an Eagle Hall of Famer, for real, for real. Yeah, Lane Johnson's one I want too. I don't have any Victor. I have so much Vic shit, dude. Can you have enough Vic shit? Like, all right, I got like I don't know. I can't lie. I look at different helmets and jerseys and shit all day, really. Kelsey's amazing, bro. He's like. I said it. Kelsey close to the Eagles. <laughs> Kelsey is close to the Eagle Mount Rushmore, honestly. He really is. I don't know, Kyle. I really I really don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Ertz is the man too. I just bought a Ertz. I got a Ertz helmet. Do y'all have any like sign stuff? Like memorabilia and shit like that? They traded Ertz. Do y'all have any, do y'all, like, don't start, man. Once you start buying shit, you like, oh, I want more, 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 more. From rappers? I don't know what really, like, I don't know what it was, dude. Like, it was like, yo, this is cool. Let me get some signed shit. I guess it was the drawings. Once I started getting the drawings signed, it was like, all right, got to add some different shit to them now. Do I, all right, let's see. So now we're going into the rapid fire section. We can do the rapid fires, boys. Rapid fire. We've done this. We've done this before. Let me take my headphones off so I can really like. Actually, I like talking with my headphones. It makes me enunciate better. Kent Griffey. A Sixers jersey. I have AI's jersey. That's another one. A lot of my jerseys I bought and then met the people and got like, I got the AI jersey hanging up. Y'all can't see it, but the black finals jersey that's autographed. I'm at AI. I have that one. All right, let's go. Let's go rapid fire, boys. We got 10 minutes or so. I know I'd be yelling at y'all for asking dumbass questions, but the rapid fire is when you can ask any question and I'll answer as many as I want as quick as possible and many as I see. You know what I'm saying? 
Do the Chargers? All right, so go ahead, shoot y'all questions. Let's get it. Do the Chargers beat the Eagles? I don't know much about the Chargers. I don't. I really don't know much about the Chargers. Uh, I know they got a good quarterback. They got good wide receivers. I, but I, I feel like the Eagles got good DBs. I really do. So we'll see. And I heard the Chargers are bad at run defense. The Eagles got a really good old line. So we're going to pound the hole. So we'll see how they do. Uh, thoughts on Von Miller? I, I don't know, dude. I don't think a team has ever been successful trading their, all their picks for for old veterans you know so we'll see how it works out i think that they might set they might set a new tone in the nfl who knows but i don't think that's a successful way the way the salary cap's made up and i think the best way to be successful is to continue to grow young talent that's cheap for the first four years for the most part um it's real you got to go to ah, xfinity's kind of ass yes or no ah, it's not bad most overrated pro madden player I don't. I, I've always felt Madden players are kind of rated where they need to be. You know, uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, you know that you get shit done. It, 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 the proof is in the the proof is in the stats. The proof is in the win loss. The proof is in the money earned. You know, for the most part, uh, I think that goes pretty strong. I mean, you guys know who I think are the two best man players. Uh, but you know, but my two best man players haven't won any money. So <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, who knows? Next check in, check in. Dispenser in Colorado. Uh, there's not one in Colorado. I'm not that big a weed smoker, dude. I feel like every time I smoke, I just get sleepy and shit. Like, and it's you gotta get sativa, and I still be like, it's a hard balance. You either smoke to where you don't really feel too much, or you just straight smacked. And sh- and being smacked is like that shit's ass for real, for real. Like when I mean like when you pass out for real, for real. Do the Eagles draft a quarterback? I think I think the best thing they can do is keep Hurts and keep and just draft defense for real for real. Ace, what do I listen to for tomorrow's tournament? Uh, honestly, I I like a little calmer music, you know, or no music really. We'll see. Whatever you normally do, do that. Don't overthink it. Do the Eagles beat with the Washingtons? <sighs> They're going to have dog fights, I think. I don't know. I feel like the Eagles could beat the Washingtons and they can beat the Giants twice. They could beat both of those teams, and that's four wins right there. The Eagles could creep to eight and nine, nine and eight. I really, if they beat their division. Now, the Cowboys are going to be too good, too high, and they won't make a wild card. So, the worst thing that can happen to the Eagles is that they go eight and nine or seven and 10, and then they, they wind up with the 13th or 14th pick. You know, I think that's what's going to happen to the Eagles, honestly. My grandfather, no. My grandfather was a missionary, a Christian missionary, a Bible. He went to Bible college, and he was kind of a pastor, so to speak, and helping international students come over, you know, stuff like that. Uh, He was a farmer, too, you know, not really a big sports guy. Grew up in Ohio out here, close to me, so Ohio State, for the most part, uh, was my grandfather. That's all he would really care about, for the most part. How much do we need to raise to make Boss Bot Wars live? At? Israel, listen, I'm I'm trying to inquire. I haven't heard much on it in the last month, so we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, let me say, it. we'll see. But you know, we are working on the next the next regular Boss Bot Wars five. We're working on that. Well, the Sixers beat the Bulls. People are kind of hype on them. The Bulls have a strong fan base. They're kind of hype on the Bulls. Um, I think having LaMelo and Zach Levine, those are two big guards. The Sixers have Maxi and Seth Curry, two six-foot guards. It's going to be a tough matchup for the Sixers to guard those two guys on the perimeter. This is going to be a game where they really miss Ben Simmons defensively. You know, so we'll see. We'll see for sure. I I, I, I believe Vucevic is starting for the Bulls, and, and he's one of the guys that, that Embiid puts in the in the basket, like, He's soft. And B and B doesn't like any tough defenders, but Vucevic isn't one of those guys. You know, greatest quarterback is Tom Brady. Who who argues that ever? I mean, you could argue Tom Brady is the greatest athlete ever. Like, come on. Y'all question's kind of weak tonight. Dude ass deep out or deep in. Do you like it out or do you like it in? Must have in the new cribs. I want a giant. I want a basement. You know, I would love to have my streaming shit in the basement. 
but a big enough one to where there's like a room and then there's a streaming room alone, you know, and then ideally I'd like a door to go outside. So kind of like, a, you know, from the basement, a door to go outside so you can enter right from the outside for real, for real. Right, I'm not running triple option, bro. Most talented quarterback, the one that fucking wins. I hate when people say that shit. Most talented. What does that mean? What is, I hate, like, people say that shit about Aaron Rodgers, dude. So you want the guy that lays down and doesn't get shit done? Is that what you want? Just because he throws the ball pretty? Come on. I hate that stupid-ass argument. I really do hate that argument. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I do play 2K. I feel like 2K is a shitty game for streaming. I really do. It's hard to interact. 2K is a game you have to keep your face on the whole time. It's hard to look back at chat and stuff like that. And I feel like the the key to a stream is a good interaction with, with you guys, making you guys a part of the stream. When you're playing 2K, you're pretty much just the chat is a side thing for the most part. Pika's Pizza is kind of a dub. You know, I, I'll be honest. For me, it's hard to find bad pizza. It's out there. But pizza in general is a dub. The upside down pizza, every one time I've had it, super dub. Must have jersey McGiggles? I don't know. If I, if I had a must have jersey, I would get it. It's not like a... They're they're pretty obtainable McGiggles. I don't know. Do you want to say like, yeah, my must have jersey? I would love Nick Foles jersey from the Super Bowl, the one he wore. Yeah, that would be cool. CC's Pizza with the all-you-can-eat pizza place. I had it one time. Kind of mid, but I smashed some shit. Vert Hook stops wheel routes. How did you get into competitive Madden? Well, I always played Madden. I didn't ever wanted to gamble or go travel to try to win because I'm a realist, you know. A lot of these Madden players are fucking delusional, you know. They're fucking delusional, dude. I'm going to win 50000 every year. No, dude, you're going to fucking lose like the rest of us. Right, so I never wanted to go spend a thousand dollars to go travel to play in a man's tournament. No, because I, when I was you know sixteen to twenty two, I didn't have that shit. I didn't have the thousand dollars to go on a trip. I didn't. So I never wanted to do that. But then they said, "Ah, oh, the MCS, you know, here it is. It's free. There it is." So when it was free, you could play. For, you could play in your draws and your UGG slippers. Why not? Best NFL player of all time is Tom Brady. The fuck? What happened with Craylo? I don't watch that shit at all. I'm going to be honest, bro. I I don't watch Good Morning Madden. I, why do y'all watch that shit? For dump trucks? Y'all can't be serious. I really don't understand, like... I want my son to be cracked at football, baseball, or basketball. I think you got to go football or baseball. Basketball is basketball is a tough sport because you're already at a it's already a physical disadvantage, man. If you're not you know six five six six, you're going to be up against it, you know. So you know, I think basketball is one where your 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 physical stature matters the most. You know, I don't think there's a you can be any type of size pause to play football or baseball, right? Like you have you have Aaron Judge and then you have Altuve, which are like it's like Scomo and fucking me, right? Vince Carter Hall in my shit, I think so. When I when I when I remember Vince Carter is two thousand one against AI when he was dropping forty, fifty points for real for real. Mount Rushmore of Eagles is uh, Dawkins, Reggie White, McNabb, and Bednarik, probably. Most overrated fast food is in and out for sure. Now, you guys, weak questions tonight. Weak questions from the chat. Now, this guy, Colin Nation, are you playing Madden today? Yeah, well, we're not doing rapid fire anymore on podcast. T Mac is the best player without the ring, without a ring. Who the fuck made that opinion? Allen Iverson? Charles Barkley? Carl Malone? Fucking T Mac. Most overrated cornerback? I don't fucking know. 
Jalen Ramsey. How about that? Most underrated NFL player? Uh, probably so, any offensive lineman. Put it that way. Any offensive lineman. Well, Trayvon Diggs, yeah, he's the most overrated for sure. NFL stadiums, I've been to the Eagles. I've been to Minnesota. I've been to the L.A. Coliseum. I want to say that's it. I watch an NFL game. Oh, Cleveland. I've been to Cleveland a bunch. Cleveland, Minnesota for the Super Bowl. That's it. Philly and the L.A. Coliseum. I just would say I, I feel like overrated because Ramsey's like unequivocally, like unarguably the best. Like, oh, he's great. Just instantly. He's great. What advice would I give my son if he wanted to compete in Madden when he gets over? Don't throw, don't throw interceptions, dude. I've never been to... Oh, I did go to Dallas for preseason. I, I did go to that. Yeah, for preseason. I forgot about that. Uh, Speed, you're not buying a painting from me, drawing from me. You're not. Would I sell a testicle? All right, boys. Hooker, prostitute, or escort. I can't lie. I, I, I really thought the stream would be popping when we do rapid fire questions. But y'all failed tonight. Y'all failed. Y'all failed, dude. What does EA need to do to make the game fun? Y'all need to get better. If y'all got better, y'all would have fun playing the game for real, for real. Look one month into the future or rewind. What can I do if I rewind one month? I could just redo it. Can I do that one time or can I do it every day? Like, what is my limits? JB, there's a lot of variables to that right there. There's a lot of variables. Fancy or Wesley in a fight? Um, I think I go to Fancy. He's from Texas. I think if I had to bet in a fight between somebody from, like, Georgia and somebody from Texas, I'm picking the Texas guy. For real. And honestly, I will tell you this about Wesley. If you grow up on a farm and you don't become a farmer, you're kind of soft. Be honest. Like, if you grow up on a farm and you become a gamer, that means you didn't want shit to do with the farm, right? Because if you grew up on a farm and you were all in on the farming, you'd be out there on a John Deere right now. Just saying. Will I ever play current gen Madden? Why would I do that? Now, why would I do that? Would you rather fight one horse size? Heard that joke. I would rather fight a horse sized duck. Yeah. A hundred horse duck size. I feel like it's like six duck sized horses. A hundred is OP. I could beat six ducks in a fight. Farmers are the toughest people ever to walk this earth. Facts. A farmer would beat the shit out of Conor McGregor for sure. A farmer? Oh, yeah, definitely. Who do I want to beat in a Madden final for a belt? Smokey, I, if I could win a Madden final, I, I really wouldn't care who I played, really. Lil Z game, what I read, what I, what you're saying is that I could play Madden but never stream or stream and never play Madden. Uh, I, whoo, whoo, that's a tough question. It's a dumbass hypothetical, but it's a tough question. Um, I would probably just stream. I would probably stream. I feel like even without Madden, I could do shit like this all day and be cool. Hippo versus a great white. Or like, are we, like, when would they ever fight? When would a hippo fight a great white? Give me the scenario. Are they in a river? Because the hippo's in like a swampy, pondy river. The hippo not in the ocean. So are we getting them to the... Are we, are we bringing both animals to the zoo for a square off? And how deep is the water? If the water is 20 feet deep, I'm going with the great white. If the water is three feet deep, I got to go with the hippo. How can the shark move? That's a dumbass fight. What is something unexpected you learned about yourself since becoming a father? Um, I think... Have having a family like when once you have a family that's like becomes your life, like this is my life. Stream, talk to y'all assholes, uh, play video games, try to make content, and the boy and family, and then you realize that becomes your life, right? As it looks like Atlanta hits another home run, and this becomes your life, and it becomes like, I guess uh, you realize that this is what you're here for. This is what you're here, and I, uh, you know. I don't know. I guess everything else becomes kind of insignificant, really. 
Sharks are older than trees. Is that right, Nappy? Are you sure? So sharks are, you know, a tree can be 60 to 100 to 150 years old. And I don't know how old sharks are. If I could give my younger self one piece of advice, I mean, how young are we talking? I feel like it's tough to say that because it's like anything I could have changed in the last in 34 years might have changed the flow of my life. I'm maybe not be where I am now. So it's tough to say would I would I change anything. I would don't, don't I tell you the only thing I would do is yeah, the butterfly effect essentially. The only thing I would do is just really put more effort into the YouTube and the rest of my content for real because just sitting on Twitch just isn't it just isn't as productive for real for real. I, I, I will tell you and I, I feel it more than ever in my life that playing video games makes me unproductive. And 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 I could understand how y'all like it video games are my job and playing them makes me like when I play to when I sit on the game for ten hours, that's an unproductive fucking day. Period. It really is. It's the worst thing I can do is play the game for ten hours. If my girl is getting attacked by a lion, would I try to save her? <laughs> Fish versus turtle. <laughs> Who's the best man player ever is, is Skimbo. I think he's just different and mad. But, I mean, problem is the most accomplished. And he, he probably has a pretty good record against Skimbo, really. Fair wrestler is stone cold. Like, what? He, he drove a beer truck and sprayed his opponents with the beer truck. Are we, are we seriously questioning any other, like... I question people that don't have Stone Cold as the number one wrestler. I feel like you're, like, tripping. Uh, if I play about 10 games in Madden 17, how many am I winning? <sighs> Maybe three. Male movie actor. Dude, I like I like Leo. I like Tom Hardy. I like, I like a lot. I like all them dudes, for real, for real. I like all those dudes, for real. All right, boys. Now they're asking about Ron Jeremy and shit. Like, y'all. All right, I'm done. There's no way somebody likes Triple H. Like, Triple H was a douchebag for 15 years. And then he... he Triple H became cool because he was just there forever. Let's be honest. Everybody hated Triple H the first 15 years. Then it was like, damn, he's been here forever. Shit. Okay. I guess he's cool now. Nobody liked Triple H. Triple H was the enemy. He was the villain. Y'all ain't like the villain. Nobody likes the villain. Being honest. When there was when there was The Rock and Austin, you didn't like Triple H. Unless you were just like weird. And if you were weird, oh, okay, then you were the weird one. Intro. What do y'all like wrestlers because of their intro? Is that what y'all like? Yo, man. Their intro is cool. The fuck? Y'all weird, bro. I swear y'all weird. I swear y'all weird. And how... And this is how I'm thing. Austin had the best intro. He had the best intro. Like, it's not even close. Austin had the best intro. Yeah. Man, my man, Nikki. There he is in the building. Nikki... Nikki is controlling to Nikki. What's our stream tomorrow, Nikki? Nikki won. He had the most gifted last week, so he controls Wednesday's stream. But he got to figure it out. Now I'm taking a deep, I'm taking a deep trust in the chat right now that Nikki's going to have a decent challenge for us to do on Wednesdays. We're not playing intros, bro. Meat Mountain. Honestly. Every time I ask Nikki, 
He literally throw, he literally throws a million ideas out there and says yes to all of them. He said 24 with two meat mountains, hot sauce, and a one chip challenge in one night. That's what he said. Look, 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 he's like adding shit. Meat Mountain may be in this. Like it's just part of it. I feel like he got to pick one thing. Do y'all feel like? Do y'all feel like he can have options? And I need I, I like you can't tell me at 9 p.m. tomorrow night to get Meat Mountain because I can't get Meat Mountain at 9 p.m. tomorrow night. I can't. Like I really can't do much of shit to be honest. One piece of advice that someone told you. Uh, charge. I mean, it's a lot. The one that I'll never forget is Problem told me. Never care who else is streaming, dude. Never let other people affect when you stream. Problem told me that. And he was like, he started, he had like Mr. Golden Sports and Toke. And it was like, he would not want to stream when they were on. But then he just overcame and Problem just kept going and not worried about how many people were watching him. And he just really grinded. And uh, that helped me a lot when I first started streaming, for real. So, like I said, Nikki won the weekly gift. So, he he's going to have a plan. I mean, let's relax. He's the boss. Like, he, he can make a challenge, man. You know what I'm saying? Do we do the hot dog, hot dogs with sour cream challenge? Do we do that? Like... It's a bunch of challenges. But, like I said, he, he won the weekly gifted. He controls Wednesday. But if it's some wild-ass food shit, you got to tell me so I can go buy the shit during the day. All right? Because Ohio closes. I can't buy shit at 9 p.m. at night. I mean, if he wants me to play a different game, I'll play a different game for sure, for sure. Biggest change MC. I like MCS this year. I feel like it's a super dub. I feel like everybody complains about the game. We don't talk about how good, how we don't listen. We don't talk about how good the MCS is right now because we talk about how bad the game is. The MCS is awesome. They're doing a great job and they need more credit to be honest. Apex with Ward and Eduardo. No, I don't think Sour Cat makes a big, no, not really. Make Dub play a scary game. Hurts. I will play a scary game with ease. Like, just ease. Like, absolutely. Like, that shit is corny as fuck. The hot chip is easy, dude. The hot chip. I flood the hot chip. The content team. I was watching, uh, I was watching the, uh, I do have the tuba terror. I have the jelly beans. Do I have a one chip? I don't think I have a one chip. I still got some skulls. I got the regular Death Nut Challenge. I got a lot of shit in my drawer of my drawer of you know what I'm saying. League of Legends. Nikki with 20 gifted. So Nikki could go back to back week. Somebody else gotta fight. Can I get somebody that's like not you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's that's not gonna make me do psycho shit. Z game, how many hours a day? I've never been an out. Like, what do y'all think? Like, I've just been a dude that. Bro, when I was on my belt, I was working every day and playing video games at night. Just like everybody. I, that's when I won. I was working. I was going to I was wearing my boots going to work. That's what I was doing. And that's what I was doing, boys. The skull. I'm. I will dominate skull. I'm be honest with y'all. I will dominate skull, like dominate it. That's not. I already dominated it. The only thing that killed me was when I hit, when I hit uh the double the double dips. That's what killed me. I didn't know that I couldn't do that. I wasn't supposed to do that. I had the two Terror. I'll dominate that too. Twenty five unbanned rook. Damn. Whew. The first one, right? that's what I'm saying. I, I did two of them the first time. I did it another time, and I dominated one. I think everybody's ass at Madden when they first start. Yeah, the first time I did it with the two pouches, yeah, I earled. Hell yeah. 25 unbanned requests, boys. What happened to Wynn? Wynn is a police officer now. I checked in on him like a month ago or so. Okay, 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 okay.
Ashlyn. That's what you do, JC? Ashlyn? On bannies? Mr. Chosen One. This chat matches the streamer. Nasty. What's everyone's favorite dildo? Dildo. See, like, I can't. <sighs> I want to ban this guy for life for this shit. I really do. Need more info. He's been subbed for four months. What are we thinking, boys? Like, this is like... We gotta bring him back, though. This is first time being up here. I can't get him for life, bro. We can't get him for life. I mean, solid, solid. This is a solid rebuttal or a solid request. Anybody with punctuation in a paragraph, listen. All right, Mr. Chosen One, yeah, well, listen, you're on sub or ban. If you're not subbed by the end of this shit right here, you are banned. That's how I feel. Because it's not crazy. You're talking about dildos and ass beads in a chat. So there you go. So you're sub the band, sub or band to the end of the, to the end of this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this guy. Where do you have Sean Taylor? Josh or Dan? Josh or Dan? Where where is where's Sean Taylor? Where's you big handsome like bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. You ever gonna watch, watch, make us watch Bunch till next August? Absolutely. What else do y'all wanna watch? I never understood this, bro. That's the biggest cap in the whole world, right? People don't wanna watch Bunch. The fuck? That doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not true. It's, it's not true. Oh, the game's meta stops people from watching it. I'm the most meta motherfucker in the world. Mr. Chosen One, I'm telling you right now. Suburb Ben. All right. Um... Another chance. Everybody gets to know. Drunk Games, my guy. Drunk Games is back. I don't even gotta read what he said. I don't like this guy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't really like this guy right here. Rum Turkey. He's a. He's all he does is cap. Score a real touchdown for God's sake. Simping in the chat. Yuck. Ass kissers in here right now. Score a touchdown. Score a real touchdown. This is a Chrissy Teigen song. I am on band watch. Score a real touchdown. Plus nursing home music. It's highly embarrassing that you're not in quarter overload on D. Verticals over and over again. Yay. He's out of here, rum turkey. Art van. Dub fart. Like, is that funny? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're bringing? Y'all make me seem like I'm Dan. I'm Richard Pryor. The way y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm Richard Pryor with y'all sense of humor, for real. Hey, my bad on the dub fart shit. A few people thought it was funny a couple days ago, and I was dragging it. We let him back. <laughs> you should fix your camera so we don't have to look at your cue ball all night. Why'd I get banned? I never meant to offend anybody. Literally meant to offend me. What? How does this make sense? Literally just meant to offend. That's all that was. Like you're full of shit. Bourbon legend. All right, I don't know why I've been this guy. I hope one day to meet you in my Super Bowl. He probably played music. He definitely played music. 
He de- cuz look, I didn't ban him that day. I banned him on the day he didn't type. He definitely played music. Yeah, he definitely played a flute. He definitely fluted it up. No limit have. Shut up, kid. You dick riding dub that. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I stay bitching. Grown ass man bitching. Real talk. Damn. This guy was crazy. I don't think we could let him back, boys. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? This guy was crazy. This is Geronimo's burner. He came in hot. Yo, he's out, bro. He's out. He's out. Yo, this dude Jake is the worst. We gotta let him back, though. He's the worst. Crucial. Vicey? Oh, it is icy. This that's because he thought that on that quarterback tier list that Tyson Hill was damn Drew Brees. Deny. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know why this guy got banned, but he got he caught it though. Nick Widmer. Miles, you you banned somebody for putting slash marks? Milo, he spammed a pleat. Oh, Milo with a strike? Does Milo get a strike? Does he get a strike? Does he get a mod strike? I mean, the hash marks are kind of crazy. But this was a good timeout, though. I don't know how it went from a timeout to a crazy band, though. I was dead ass just drunk, chilling in my bed, zoned out, running my finger up and down on the keyboard, not knowing that it was sending shit in chat. I'm sorry for spamming, though. Sales rep. <laughs> I mean, this kind of bullshit, bro. I was, I, I was running my finger up and down on my keyboard, not knowing it was sending shit. Represent. I don't know what happened to him, bro. I really don't. I don't know, but we'll let him back. Yo, move tool. I was banned using my channel points on Titanic Flute. Titanic Flute will get you banned for a week. Y'all know that. Y'all risk that when y'all play Titanic Flute. Y'all will. CRB. How do y'all listen to this trash music? We'll let you back. Matty Ice. Okay, APW is full of giggity giggity. Okay, APW, listen. You get five subs or we'll see you tomorrow. That's it. Or we'll see you next week, APW. Do you want to take a week off? Okay, Shouse. Do you want to take a week? Okay, everybody wants to take a week off. Okay. Y'all want to take a week off. Is that what y'all want to do? Say you next week. Say no more, APW. I'll holler at you next week. Fill out an unbanned request. Who else? Who else? All right, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I would like to apologize to everyone in the chat I've let down. But mostly importantly, I'd like to say sorry to everyone in Ice Gang. Skimbo Ward, Dubby, Mallow, Shunny, 
Gus, Marty, Iowa, Hertz, Dottie, Tim, Vos, Spamming, Peen, and Geronimo. <laughs> That's a nasty squad. Yo, that's a nasty squad. Free Maddie. He gonna be back instantly. Like, I'm back! In the city, you can't walk a block without running into hoes. Yo, Libertad, he is annoying. He's he's on permanent. He's on perm watch. He's on perm watch. John Z. Sub the wise people who play Madden. Ha ha ha. Yeah, get this fucking guy out of here. Alpha. We'll let Alpha back. I don't like the cut of his jib, though. My man, perfect goat. That's my guy. Dragon Tiger. This was what you brought to the table, Dragon Tiger? Wow, I thought you were better than that, Scrubby. I thought you were just hard of hearing or something. I'll be honest. Yo, Dragon Tiger, is he's he's down bad. I'll be honest. He's, he's close to permanent. He's close to permanent. Where are you going? Sleeps? Huh? Yeah. What did you get? Oh, okay. I thought you got the salad from earlier. Did you eat that? All right. Good. All right, so thank you, Ludo Dusky. Like why like why are you coming hot and just say my whole name like that? You know what I'm saying? Like 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 why like why y'all who the hell y'all think y'all are? And then he put capital L. That's why he got banned. Patty Mahomes' cheeks. Uh oh, Eduardo ban and Ed ban <clears throat> and Ed ban. Yo dub one yo dub that one v one me, I'll put anything on my life, I'll win. Yes, no, I meant I was in one, but you're very good. I was playing. Is this a L ban? Is this a, a strike? This is worse than Mallow's ban. I don't know. I right, say no more. He's out of here. Fuck that guy. Ed bans him. He's out. He's out. There it is. I'm ban request. That that was that that was 25 unban requests. Good work, boys. Good work. <laughs> Good work. Good work. I need to play Madden. I need to. I need to get a some Madden action. But that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show, boys. I appreciate you guys being here. We're over an hour and a half. If you guys are watching us on the tube, we've been getting a thousand little views on on the podcast. Appreciate y'all. This is one fifty. We did one fifty, boys. I don't have enough henny. I don't have enough hennies or uh, spam some damn emotes for 150 goddamn episodes, bro. Put as put, let's get the needed emotes. Every color y'all got, let's spam the needed emotes. Every color y'all, whoever got the most colors wins. Whoever has the most colors of the needed logo wins. Let's get it, boys. Let's spam it. 150 episodes, man. That's that's a lot of weeks. That's a lot of bullshit with y'all. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't be knowing what the hell I'm gonna talk about. We didn't talk about shit today. We barely talked about Madden. And that's that's pretty much I mean, listen. That's a good thing. We're deeper than Madden. We're deeper than Madden, boys. 
Like they said, deeper than rap. The new podcast is deeper than Madden. It's deeper than Madden. But we've done good. I appreciate y'all being here. This is what 150 weeks of commitment looks like. You know, even when there's nothing to talk about, even when there's nothing going on, you guys uh, keep it popping. So this was the new podcast episode 150. Appreciate y'all who watch this on YouTube. If y'all do, where y'all watch it at in the car on the, on the on the the workout bicycle? Are you on your are you a mailman? Are you watching the podcast on your on your mail route? You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. I appreciate y'all. Uh, we're gonna keep kicking it. We're gonna get to 200. We're gonna get to 500. We're gonna get to a thousand episodes. I promise. That's my goal. A thousand episodes of talking about Madden and and nothing. But like I said, get the UGG slippers. You need boots, hit me up. I got some recommendations on boots. I know about Madden, and I know about boots, boys. All right? And if you need a recommendation on what Wi-Fi to get, hit up Walmart. Mallow is working in the center aisle. You can check him in the kiosk. He's got a name tag, and he's got Timberlands on. That's what he wears there. Mallow, you check him out at Walmart in the kiosk selling Wi-Fi, boys. But I will holler at y'all next week, boys.